reference him back to that file a lot during this tutorial, but I'll be able to explain what I'm doing, so it's good. And I'm um, just holding down Shift and D just to make it aim this way. And we will have a door right here. Um, actually, let's just do a room. So what I'll do is press spacebar to get that selected, and I believe 48 is the height it's supposed to be. I'm not good with the standard stuff. I usually just look at it while I'm making my map. And we'll make a window right over here. Oops. Make a window right over here. Um, actually, let's go to this view. And that works. Oh, no, I'm being a little sloppy today. You should always put detail into your map. Because if you don't, people will notice. That's a promise. They will say, I mean, you'll post your map in the download section of Custom CD, and all you'll see is people saying, okay, here's the problem number one, here's the problem number two, because sometimes, even if they're not mappers, they could still find all the glitches and problems, and they'll suggest you to fix it, and it gets annoying when you upload three different versions of it. People will hate it. Okay, back to this. Now, what I'm going to do, just to make it more noticeable, is I will texture these walls by selecting them all. And yes, this tutorial will be a big tutorial because I do like to talk a lot and kind of explain what I do. Okay, so let's go to textures, surface type. I like to do, let's see, let's put some concrete on the wall. And I do still have it in locale tool, that's why it looks like this. Um, I should use the dev textures because I'm just using this, but then I would have to teach y'all how to compile an IWD, which, not hard, but it's not the funnest thing that you could do. Okay, so let's find a wall texture. Um, this one looks fine. Not for inside, but yeah. Okay, there you go. That's that's pimp right there. Yes, I like to say pimp. <laughs> and what I will do now, just to make it a little more realistic, is cut out this box into two, but still keep it. I'm not going to delete it. And so I can have two different textures. One will be the flooring. And one will be the grass outside. Yeah, I'm not going to make it super detailed, but it's good enough just to test. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is just creating this as of this. And let's see, this one will be... Hmm, there we go. That's different in a way. And outside, select all of it. Now I could select it on the 2D view, but I'm not going to. I prefer doing it this way. It's really what you prefer. Now I know this is boring you guys. This is stuff that after the basic mapping tutorial you guys probably already started or did this. Um, sorry I'm like a little focused on other stuff today. Surface type I'm gonna put grass if it is there. Yes it is. Okay we have grass. How amazing is that? Now what I'm gonna do to have the blocker on the window to make the zombies go through. There's two steps to that. First, you're going to right click, um, I'm going to left click on this just to get the height correct. And I'm going to go to MISC, oh sorry, right click on 2D view, go to MISC, prefab, and let's look for something called, and I have a lot more folders in here than y'all just because of uh, stuff. <laughs> Hard to explain. You're going to press on zombie mode and window med. Now here is your window. What I'm going to do is press N to get out of that. Oops. Let's go back over here. Um, also, I have to do one thing to spawn to make it actually workable. I should have done that before, but I forgot. Sorry. Okay. Now you're going to want the wood on the outside. So this is the wood. So let's line it up correctly. And there we go. And let's height-wise, let's line it up correctly. That looks fine. Okay, so basically, you're going to want the wood to be lined up with this. I mean, you want it on the line. You don't want it right here, as I'm guessing the wood wouldn't go off. I haven't tried. As you see, it kind of goes into the window up here, You don't or wall. So you want it back here. It's fine. Um, it may not be fully touching the window, but it is fine. Okay, let's move on. Sorry. I like to explain myself. I'm going to right-click on here again. You need two things, not just one. And this time, 
I'm going to press on Windows, not Windows, sorry, Transverse. <laughs> and I, I, again, haven't done this in a while. Let's, let's just to show you, and I don't know. Let's go back here, and let's look what's going on. Placing boards on your window. You can do the Window Med, as it says. And misc prefab transverse as I did wall underscore hop I didn't see that oh sorry I was looking for jump for some weird reason sorry <laughs> now this is it basically let me kind of move this apart from this just so you could see basically this is uh, I don't really know how to explain because I'm not too smart on this stuff but basically this green box you're gonna want the top of this box to align with the top of this right here the top so they can basically hypothetically if I made it so this top green box was up here the top of it they would literally stand up they would be it look like they're flying through the window so you don't want that obviously so I'm gonna turn that and let's go back over here and let's lower it down okay and the top of the box has to be right there and we are good as you see, it's right on the line. Perfecto. Now let's just, the easy way of doing it is just holding down shift, selecting both of these, and pressing spacebar, control D twice, going back over here, and just putting it right back in. How easy is that? And make it line up correctly right there. And wow, I was sorry, I wasn't looking at the 3D view. I guess it's over here. Sorry. <laughs> feel like an idiot now <laughs> okay there we go how easy was that now you want to make a next room right so let's just cut off this wall just a little bit four and I'm gonna count in four I'm, I'm making it kind of nice today and let's count up same amount I did over here okay so let's just get this wall to look correct sorry textures in use okay now I'm gonna add another room right here just to show you how the blocker works um, okay I'm, I'm a little lazy today I'm sorry just to show you how it works I'll do this this is not gonna be a good room I just really want to show you how it works I'm just taking too long on this tutorial already you guys are probably already sleeping or something if you aren't sleeping, you damn should be. <laughs> okay. Just making a little roof so it doesn't look messed up. And, and I'm going to make just another, you know, just dead end, basically. It's just going to be a room you can just use a blocker to get into. And I will increase... Let's see. Sorry okay boom so basically they walk off here into there how amazing is that <laughs> not too amazing but it's good enough now let's please move on because I'm killing myself here what I'm gonna be doing is let's go to misc and I want to read this tutorial sorry I haven't done this in a long time <laughs> I feel like an idiot but yeah um, okay, let me show you the zombies. Before we get to the blocker, you should definitely try to make the zombie spawn actually work. Um, so I'm going to uh, click on that, press N. And as you see, it's info player start. And that's not how you do it. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's just, I'm, I'm, I just, I'm really tired right now, so. That is a player spawn, sorry, forget I ever said that. That's that's where the player's gonna spawn. <laughs> Shit. Well, sorry for the cursing. Um, anyways, you're gonna go to uh, actor, ally, or access. Sorry, I'm getting dumber and dumber every second. 